Hello and welcome to Tony's Bonsai. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create really interesting bonsai for the future using the cheapest ficus material that I could find. What I have here are four ficus benjamina. I picked these up from a local supermarket in the spring and there were I think four small plants and they cost me two pounds so they came in at the grand total of 50 pence each one of them died but basically now all the roots have been sorted they've all got a decent radial nabari under there and the only problem is you just rotate that round for us a bit rick can you the only problem is they're quite boring and they don't really look like bonsai so my job is to do something with a trunk like this for example here and give that some shape so that's the job for today what i need to do in order to do this is apply vet tape and wire so I'll come back to you when we're ready to add some movement I'm going to cut the vet tape here I could use a pair of scissors but why use a pair of scissors when you can use your own handmade knife so coming for a close-up on this I made this in the summer myself using stock removal and my dad's just finished the handle for me so Here we go. Hopefully you can see the shape of the blade. I've done what's called a drop point to give me a really nice pointed end there. I've got a nice strong guard to protect my hand. So this is ideal for sort of cutting into trunks, carving shari, everything like that. And I just love these, these red spaces next to the metal. How beautiful is that? So I'm very happy with that. Nice work, Dad. Now let's get on with putting this vet tape on the trees and creating some bonsai. Okay, I'm ready for some action. I've decided to do three different techniques. On this tree, I've wrapped two coils of, I believe it's two and a half millimeter wire. And I've gone pretty much all the way up to the top of the tree from low down. That's not going to be enough to get any drastic movement low down. But I think I can just try and style something into it. Can we just rotate that round, Rick, now? Just before we do, this one just to the left, I've not put any wire on. I'm going to go Nigel Saunders style, and I'm going to just do clip and grow on this. It's got lots of nice branching. So I'll clip and grow on that. And then if we rotate round a bit further here, I've applied some four and a half mil wire and I've taken that right down to the base. And if we just look up there, see that branch there? That is the new leader. I've not put any wire on it, but I'm going to bend this piece completely over to hopefully re reorientate that whole trunk and add some interesting movement. So I'm going to pass the camera to my brother and then I'm going to do some bending. So we're going to start with the most difficult one first. As I tried to point out, this here is the new apex of the tree. So I've already selected the apex. It's a really nice side branch. But in order for this to come up, I want to get some movement down here. I put vet tape on to hopefully protect the bark. And this might now look quite savage. There's always a risk of snapping the trunk when I do something like this. Because I'm going fairly extreme I've only ever done this once before with a ficus and it's worked out really well there so you can see the branch here this is the top of the tree so if that's the top of the tree I want to get some genuine movement low down which is what I'm trying well, it's quite difficult that. off camera I'm going to get some more movement lower down there i.e. my brother's going to bend it <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do clip and grow on this one now so I'll just rotate it round so you can see it from there can you see that better from there? I can yeah Yeah. so this is a clip and grow technique I really like this branch here I like this branch 
there's just loads of good options going forward with this and there's part of me saying just leave it you know part of me saying cut that there yeah get that cut off do you think so yeah it's too straight in it boy it is too straight you're right let's go boom yeah that looks better already does that look better that yeah. good good yeah so i'm not going to do any more with that that can be a clip and grow style and that's just got the makings of a, a good basic tree i think i'll rotate it round now and we'll look at this one now this isn't really got much going on as i say i just applied the wire and hopefully i can get some movement in i don't know if i'll be able to get anything lower down because this isn't all that thick but again we've got a nice branch coming off there so if i could somehow orientate the trunk so that that branch is going upwards there see how that's now coming vertical can you see that on the you can yeah that's coming up vertically here yeah so that's basically now the new the new top of the tree this will be cut here eventually and all this section here will be removed and it's just that that trunk bending around and then going upwards so again off camera I'm going to increase the bend in this section maybe I can get a bit more now come on look at oh yeah go for it Tony you can do it you've got this <laughs> right this is just a, oh, oh that wasn't a snap right there in fact if I spin it here you can see probably better I'm just doing it with one hand yeah and I'm just see how low I'm getting that movement yeah and that's the new leader how uh, why why do you uh, put all that wire on rest if it's just going to be chopped off because I wanted to try a twin coil it's really hard wiring thick wire on for me so I just wanted to do a twin coil just to make it easier all right but I want to set this bend it's a really good question I want to set this bend in place now and the best way to set that in place oh, is to leave that all growing is to have the top of the tree pointing up pointing upwards exit oh he's he's ahead of the game <laughs> so now I can take that section there up and this that's going to mean now that this bottom section is going to heal better well set in place because the top of the tree is now pointing upwards we've got this bit coming up nicely up here put that up there and that's the new tree in shape so we've got the twin coil and it's again movement new leader so it's the kind of all similar styles they're just done with with different pieces of wiring different kind of slightly different techniques but yeah i'll be able to do that later you on you just get a bit more movement in there you can give that a squeeze ring and just bend that down but that's the principle and this will take now from my previous experiments doing this technique it took around sort of three maybe four months and that bend was set in place so the wire will be cut off the vet tape will be removed and in the springtime those major cuts can happen and these can be put in little bonsai pots and they're on the way to being really quite nice interesting little trees actually so please with that I've not got many Fikers videos on my channel because they're not really my thing but I'm always watching them on YouTube I love watching people working on Ficus and I don't like to miss out so I thought it was a bit of a little Ficus special <laughs> for you and as I said before it's Ficus Benjamin of this if anyone's got any tips in the comments about how to care for these trees I, don't, I always appreciate reading any advice because my knowledge is pretty thin when it comes to Ficus but as always thanks for joining us have a great day and I'll see you soon